Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite Sega Master System games. I didn't start collecting for the Sega Master System until after I'd gotten a Super Nintendo, so I didn't really get into the system, you know, back when the NAS was out and stuff. But I do enjoy this system quite a bit. And these are just some of my favorite games that I own for the Sega Master System, and they're not really presented in any particular order. So first up we have Choplifter, released by Sega in 1986. Choplifter is a classic. It is a great game where you're running around trying to rescue people, trying not to get shot down. You have to deal with the angle of the helicopter while you're moving and trying to defeat enemy enemies and tanks and, and other helicopters. And it does prevent, present a good and unique challenge as a game. I remember having it first on the Apple II, but I don't have my Apple II anymore. <laughs> you know, it was given away a long, long time ago. I kind of wish I still had it, but I, I, I realized that the media, the floppy disks that it play are degrading so poor, so bad that, you know, the only way that I should really be able to continuously play this game will probably be on the Master System. Next up, we have Double Dragon by Arc System Works released in 1988. Double Dragon is one of the best side-scrolling beat-em-up games where you get to play as, you know, two-player. It's it's a classic. I, I don't know what else I can say about it. It's the, the Master System version is very good, very well done. I do believe that the Nintendo version might be a little bit better but there's definitely a good classic feel to the Master System version. Next up we have OutRun, released by Sega in 1986. I loved OutRun. I loved it in the arcades and stuff, and I actually had it on the Genesis before I had it on the Master System. I knew I wanted it, just because it's Outrun. It's a really good series. I love the whole series, from from the Master System in the arcade all the way up to the Xbox, the original Xbox. It's just a really great game. I think Outrun might be getting a little bit on the pricey side now, but you know, if, if you can find it for cheap, it's definitely something to pick up with the Master System. And the last game I'm going to be talking about is R-Type. It was released by Compile and Iron in 1988. This game is awesome. It's such a good port of R-Type, and it's one of the really, really good shmups that is on the Master System. I mean, it's got others like Fantasy Zone and Power Strike and Power Strike 2. I believe, and it's, but our type just spoke to me. It's a little bit on the punishing side if you die, but other than that, it's just a great game. It has some great music, and you know the controls are just very nice. And it should, you know, you should try to go out of your way to pick this one up if you're interested in picking up a Master System. You know, it's. The colors are great, the, the sound is great, the controls, the, the power-ups, the level of design is there. You know, is it going to compete with, like, the PSP version of R-Type? No, absolutely not. Is it going to give you a good retro experience that can maybe, you know, get some nostalgia feelings going and stuff? Definitely. It's worth your time. It's definitely worth... The, the price that it's been jumping up to uh, is just all around a great game and a lot of fun. Well, that's it for this episode of Mundane Designs. 
I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.